Hi, so today we will focus on this problem, okay? So this is about what? Yes, about derivative, okay? So um, so our problem today is I want to find the derivative of x to the power of x. Hmm, how can I do it? Okay, but um, before I do this, okay, I want you to remember again, you know, I hope you still remember, and of course, okay, okay of course you still remember. If I have to function like a simple function like this, x to, to the power of 3, so easily I can find the derivative of this, it's gonna be, um, it's gonna be 3, okay, x, 3 minus 1, and it's gonna be 3x to the power of 2. Well, it's easy, right? So that means I will just put this to the front, and then, and then minus 1. It's gonna be 3, and x to the power of 2. Alright, so, good, you still remember that. Now let's go back to this problem, okay? So how to do this? Well, this is how. It's gonna be interesting, so what, okay? So um, first, I will write it in. It's gonna be d, dx. Now I have this one, right? x to the power of x mm -hmm. equals to. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to assume this x equals to um, e to the power of ln x. So I can do this because this doesn't change anything. So if you see this, e and ln, they just cancel each other, so it's other, so um, it doesn't change my function. So this one is still the same as x, same as x. So we can do that, okay? Now, next, what we're going to do is we'll just substitute this x with this e, okay? And then we have d, okay, sorry. I will use another marker, d, dx, and now I have um, e to the power of ln x, okay, and then to the power of this x. So, that's it. Now, let's continue. So what we what we need to do is we'll just multiply this x according to exponential properties. So we'll just do like this. Um, d. Okay, I think I need to change my marker. Okay, so oh oh my god. Okay, so it's gonna be d dx. Okay, um, now I have. Okay, it's gonna be this one, e, um, x, ln, x. That's the result of this, okay? And then, we know, okay, to find the derivative of this, well, we can do this, right? So now, I will write the derivative of this one, it's gonna be e to the power of x, um, ln x, and I will multiply it with the derivatives of the power of its power. So, now we'll just write here the derivative of this power. Okay, so x ln x. Now first, according to the uh, definition, so I can make like this. So first I will write the x, and I multiply it by the derivative of ln x. It's going to be over x, okay, and then plus. Now I will find, I will write the derivative of x, it'll be 1, and I will multiply it by ln x. Okay, so that's the solution. But well, we know in mathematics we need to simplify it, right? Okay, so let's do it. It's gonna be um, e. Um, ln x, it's gonna be x ln x here, times, it's gonna be cancel, I can cancel this, right? It's so gonna 1 plus ln x. So that is the result. Okay? Interesting, isn't it? Okay, but um, because we can just, uh, we can still simplify this by bringing this to, the, to our initial function is x to the power of x. So, 
um, we will make it like this e let x well it's the same as this right this one is the same as this uh, multiply by 1 this ln len x so this is my look at this e to the power of len x is equals to x so this equals to x to the power of x 1 plus len x and this is our last result and we solve the problem. Thank you.